Hey everybody, welcome to T-Roy Cooks. I appreciate you joining us. A bunch of you have asked me to do a comparison cook between the Weber Smoky Mountain and the Pit Barrel Cooker. So man, I went out and got me some uh, racks of baby back ribs. I'm gonna hang one rack in the Weber Smoky Mountain and one rack in the Pit Barrel Cooker. We're gonna try to maintain temps the whole time. We're gonna be cooking with some Mojo bricks of hickory wood. Um, man, I tell you what, this is gonna be a great day. Oh. And a special guest is coming by, my brother James from Amon McClamon Smokers. I'll put a link to his channel up here for you. Y'all go check him out. Uh, he's going to be hanging out with me all day for this cook too. So it's going to be a fantastic day. Hope y'all stick around for the ride, folks. It's going to be a good one. Austin, Texas. All right, gang, fixing to put these ribs on, and uh, what we rub on there, James? D-Rub from GQ Barbecue. GQ Barbecue. Thank you, Jason. Jason. All. Get some. It's some good stuff. Man. Really good stuff. Really good, good stuff. stuff. Now, tell you how I set my Weber Smoky Mountain up. Again, no water pan. I took the grill grate out of my Weber kettle because it hinges. So I can take this and hinge it up like that. That way I can get in there and hang stuff with my hand. So I've got my ribs here. I'm hooked them behind the second bone here. I'm gonna put them down in there. We're gonna see if we can hang them right here on the side. And I'm just gonna leave the hinge up. It doesn't matter. Uh, we're again running both cookers at the same temp, pretty much give or take 25 to 30 degrees. The wood. We add the wood. Oh, we gotta add wood too. Thanks, James. Mojo bricks. Mojo bricks. Mojo cubes. Double check them out. Link below. We're gonna add some hickory. Oh yeah, that's looking good. I'm going to do the same thing over on the pit barrel cooker. We've got one cube of the mojo bricks, the mojo cube. We're going to hickory put on there along with this other rack of ribs. We'll catch y'all back when we're getting close to being done. All right, guys, just want to show you where we're at here. This is the Weber Smoky Mountain 258. This is the pit barrel cooker 257. We've been uh, cruising around, you know, within 10 degrees of each other. Pretty good here. We've got them both kind of dialed in. And it's been an uh, hour and 15 minutes since we put them ribs on. James, you mind taking that lid off so we can check them out? Let's do it. Oh yeah, yeah, there we go. Hope y'all can see that down there. I'm just gonna hit them with a little bit of uh, apple juice. Like so. All right, let's check on the ones on the PBC. All right, this is what they're looking like down in the PBC down here. Hopefully y'all can see that a little bit. Yeah, that's a nice color. Yeah, really nice color too, man. That's awesome. We'll meet y'all back here when we're pulling them off. All right, the ribs have been on for a few hours now. Uh, probably about two and a half hours, almost three hours, I reckon. So we're going to take a look at them. About These two the, and a half hours. About two and a half hours. Yeah. We're going to take a look at them. These are the ribs on the pit barrel cooker. They'll seem to be cooking a little faster. And we're going to see uh, if those are ready or not. So let's take a look. Oh, that smells amazing. It does smell amazing, man. Yeah, it does smell amazing. Holy cow. Look at that. Oh, yeah. That's gorgeous color on that. Mm -hmm. Let's give them a little lamb here real quick. And just kind of give them a bend test. Watch how he does this, folks. This is how you test see if ribs are done. Yeah, that, that's got some pretty good, pretty good bend to them. Yeah, they do. And they are cracking a little bit. Are they? Yeah. So would you say they're done or they need to go a little bit longer? What do you think? I'm going to say maybe another 10 minutes. Yeah, I was thinking about but, 15, but that's cool. Yeah, but they're, they're I mean, as you can see, yeah. see that bend in here. We're going to get them back on, get this lid closed, and um, let's check the other rack. This is going to be a little trickier. Well, not too bad. No, let's have to grab Oh, look at that color on those. Oh, man. Yeah, I think, uh, yeah. I don't know if you guys can see that bend, but that's a pretty good bend. Yeah, it is. Man, I, I think these are done. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think these definitely bend just a little bit more than the ones on the pit barrel. Yeah. I think these are going to be good. I'm going to go ahead and take these out and um, 
let them rest for just a few minutes. All right, so the ribs are done. They've been resting for a little while, and we're gonna cut into them. Um, we've actually already cut a few for Miss Karen. Had to let her get hers first. But here, here we have the two racks. So this rack here is from the Weber Smoky Mountain, and this one is from the Pit Barrel Cooker. And they have some really great colors. They look awesome. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna cut a few from each one, and then we'll plate them up and give them a taste. So this is a pit barrel cooker. I like to go right in about the middle. So what I'm gonna do is put this over. Just gonna cut a few here. Do that. pick that up on camera oh yeah yeah we've seen it yeah definitely moisture in there definitely so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take two of these and put them on one plate here again these are the pit barrel cooker ribs set that aside and then we're gonna cut a couple from the rack that was cooked on the Weber Smoky Mountain we'll just turn that around Some really great color on those ribs, man. They really are. James, what uh, what NFL team did you play for? Remember that big ass <laughs> ring? How did I know? <laughs> How did I know you were gonna ask that? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's that's all I'm seeing right now is a lot of bling, man. Uh, <laughs> let's see. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> well, you might know this team in Dallas. Oh yeah. I wish. <laughs> Them, them boys? Them boys. Them boys. <laughs> so All right, let's, let's get back down here. I'm going to zoom in on that. <laughs> <laughs> these are the Weber. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's ribs. beautiful color on that. Oh, yeah. yeah look at that. So these, I don't know you can pick that up, too. Yes, we're definitely seeing that. Yeah, awesome. Awesome. So these have moisture as well. Yeah. So, same thing. We'll take a plate and uh, plate a couple of these up. All right. And then we're gonna give them a taste test, y'all. That's the best part. I can't wait. All right, folks, let's give these ribs a try. We're gonna try out the pit barrel cooker ribs first. No, we're not either. Let's do the Weber. Let's do the Weber first. Let's do the I'm Weber, try the first. Weber first. Yeah. All right. Let's All right. try the Weber first. Give these a try. Mm. This is gonna be good. They're tender, juicy. Great smell. Gotta love, gotta love the rub. I was just about to, I was just, Were you? Yeah, I was just about to say that. All night, we, we've been on the same wavelength. I'm telling you, man, that's cool. That smells so good. Let's give it a taste. Huh? Yes. Can't get over that juiciness, man. Hmm. I can't just take one bite. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Folks. That's jamming. Mm. It's juicy. On my channel. Yeah. I Come normally on. don't take so many bites. <laughs> Damn, this is good. That's really good, folks. Really, really good. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you pretty much finished yours. <laughs> it was good. <laughs> Must have been good. Eat that? Mm. Yeah. If you ain't getting messy, you ain't eating right. No kidding, man. And there's no All barbecue right. sauce or anything on here. Yeah. Good point. It's, it's just the rub with a little bit of ap <clears throat> apple juice spritz. Right, exactly, right? yeah. Let's try the ones from the pit barrel cooker. See how it did. <clears throat> um, these actually look a little bit more juicy to me. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, I, I I thought they were when I when I cut them up. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I thought they were. Find out. Yeah. Love the Cheers. color. Love the color, oh, man. Hey. Yes, the color. Cheers. Color is Cheers. excellent. Excellent, man. Jason, great rub. Great rub you got on there, man. I was going to start biting without you. 
GQ barbecue. You go ahead and eat, man. <laughs> it's good. Don't don't let me hold you back. The smell of, the smells intoxicating, folks. All right, I'm gonna dig in. I'm gonna go this side first. There we go. Mm. There's a different flavor. There's a difference, folks. <clears throat> Definitely. Yeah, there's definitely, <laughs> you know, we hung them both, mm -hmm. but there's there's definitely more of a, almost like a, a, a grilled charred flavor yeah. on these, which came off, uh, which came off of the uh, pit barrel cooker. Pit barrel cooker, yeah. It's like when you grill a hamburger on, you know, over charcoal, and you have that certain flavor, mm. pit barrel cooker gives you that flavor. You know, the grease is dripping down in there and, and the coals and you get that flavor. For some reason, the Weber Smoky Mountain, it's not quite as intense as what you get with the pit barrel cooker. And I'm really surprised at that because, again, we, we cooked them both the same way. They were. Same they temps. Hung, you know, the, the, the fat dripped as they cooked to hit the, the charcoal. But these definitely taste different from the, uh, the Weber Smoky Mountain ribs. They definitely do. Big difference. Much better. These are much better, folks. Paper hour cooker, hands down. Cooking ribs. Thumbs up, man. Listen, I don't own a pit barrel. I don't own a pit barrel cooker, mm. but <clears throat> I'm gonna say That's I need to get up. one of these. Oh, go on, man. And you need to get one of these. Noah, <laughs> Noah, hook hook brother James up with a pit barrel cooker, man. Man, this stuff oh. is good. Alright, I got a little I got a little bit left of my one from the Weber Smoke came out. Like, Just try it again. Yeah, there's, there's, there's something about the taste. It's not the same. Again, everything was the same. The charcoal was the same. The rub. The, the, the rub was the same. The, the wood was the same. Everything was the same, but there's something about that pit barrel. Yeah, the pit barrel cooker. Well, last time uh, I was here, I believe we, we cooked ribs we did. Uh, on the pit barrel cooker. We did. It was great. And great uh, <clears throat> they were phenomenal. <laughs> they, they were amazing. And <laughs> this really is good. this is you know up there with it. So man, mm. I need one of them. So you get more juiciness from the pit barrel cooker. You get really a lot more flavor. Again, thanks for having me. Appreciate I it, brother. Truly, James. truly appreciate it. Appreciate I love it, hanging man. out. With, I love hanging out with brother Troy. You guys. <laughs> He's awesome, dude. So I love it when he comes to see me. It's been a while, man. So appreciate all you fans who have asked to see James again on here, and uh, I appreciate you coming by and hanging out with old T Roy again. Anytime, You're welcome anytime, bro. man. Anytime. anytime. Yeah, we're good. Anyway, we need to end this, folks. Yes. We're just talking too much. We're just having a good time. Hope y'all enjoyed this. Check out Pit Barrel Cookers. Uh, link down below. And James, thanks again. Amon McClamum Smokers. I appreciate you joining me today, and I know my fans appreciated it. Thanks for all that you did to help out. Y'all like this kind of stuff? You want to see some more James? Y'all give me some thumbs up. Let me know in the comments section uh, what you think about all this. Hope you share the video. And when you do, please tell all of your friends. T-Roy cooks responsibly. responsibly. Cheers, everybody. Take care.